Good afternoon. This is Bedouin, Power to the People radio program. We're here with Sister Ramona Africa, and we are standing outside the State Correctional Institution where they're holding Brother Mumia. Sister Ramona, it's, a, it's an honor and a treasure to be here with you today, Sister. If you could just go ahead and, and give, give the people the history from when they started to, to, to poison our brother a few months ago. and. Just, um. It's a pleasure to speak with you too. I just wish it was under different circumstances. No doubt. Um, the thing is, they're trying to kill Mumia. They're trying to finish the job they started in December of 1981. Um, Monday, well, yeah, let me go back. Mumia broke out with uh, a rash all over his body. They said it was eczema. They took his blood. They had him in the infirmary. There is no way they didn't know that his sugar level was up. He didn't have a high sugar level. He didn't have diabetes when they took custody of him. All right. So this is something that you know he developed after they took custody of him and determined what he eats and all of that. All right. So. Monday, we we're in Harrisburg in federal court for a hearing on the legislation that was passed to try to silence Mumia and any other inmate. And we get a call that Mumia was rushed to the hospital. We find out that he had passed out, took him to the hospital, and his blood sugar level was 779. 800 is diabetic coma. Normal sugar level is 100 or below. His was 779. We had to fight and pressure and pressure them to even get anybody in to see me. His wife and his older brother Keith got in to see him on Tuesday. Wednesday, his oldest son and his younger brother got in to see him. Now, Tuesday he was doing better. His sugar level was down to 330 something, which is still too high, but it was down from 779. Then um, on Wednesday, when Jamal and Billy went in to see him, he was shaking. He, uh, his breathing was labored. You know, um, he was not doing good, not doing good at all. And so we got on that, letting people know. But the thing is, the hospital comes in, representatives of the hospital come in and tell him that they need the bed and they're sending him back to the prison in the condition that he's in. So we're clear on what's happening here. We know no inmates get decent health care. In fact, very few people in the United States get decent health care, particularly prisoners. All right. So <clears throat> what we're doing is we're saying we want independent doctors of Mumia's choice and his family's choice to have his medical records and to be able to treat him. You know, that's what we need. And uh, we're not going to stop to live satisfied that me is getting the kind of treatment that he needs. Our brother Phil Africa just died in prison January 10th. Uh, mysteriously, suddenly, you know, we're not going to see Mumia go down. Not going to see him go down. Oh, let me just say this in closing. These officials will call Mumia a murderer. They will call my family the Move Nine Murders. They will call my family murderers. But the cops and officials that dropped a bomb on me and my family, burnt babies alive, they're not called murderers by the system, by officials. The uh, Darren Wilson and Ferguson that killed Michael Brown, the cop that killed Eric Garner, the 12-year-old uh, child in Ohio, they don't call them murderers. They're not in jail for 30 to 100 years like my family or on death row like Mumia was and now in prison for life according to them. All right. Why is that? Why is that? 
they want us to uh, chastise our family, you know, uh, our people as criminals, as murderers, while overlooking the crimes, you know, of these officials. Uh, Leonard Peltier, you know, a native indigenous person of this country, they have the audacity to call him a murderer. I don't care what happened on the Pine Ridge Reservation. I don't care. You dare to call him a murderer? The descendants and upholders of those who slaughtered Leonard's people into virtual extinction? You're going to call him a murderer? We better wake up. We better wake up and realize the gigantic con game that these people are playing on us. We need to wake up and realize it. Thank you, sister. Ramona, Africa, y'all.